The Wolf Islander 4 is running the ferry route to Wolf Island from Kingston more frequently all the time. Many islanders and others have already managed to travel aboard. But this short video is intended to introduce those who have not or cannot. It will ease the description of her features if we recognize that on every trip she changes her port and starboard sides and therefore we should adopt a different way of describing each side of the vessel. It's rather fortunate that the design of the ferry and its operation on the docks dictates that the entrances and exits for pedestrian passengers are all on one side. We'll call that side the dock side. And the other side, with no access to the dock, will be the outside. The docking arrangements also mean that the doors on either end of the dock side are clearly marked for Kingston or Marysville. Above the machinery spaces, the ferry has four decks, two of which are accessible to the public, the main one being the car deck. A second deck up one flight of stairs is a mid-level crew rest and accommodation area with no external windows but a good view of the car deck. Up a second flight of stairs is the main passenger lounge area with open air seating on either end of the ferry. The topmost deck, with the navigation bridge and wheelhouse firmly amidships, offers a commanding view of both the ferry and the surrounding waters. Before we move on and look at the ferry's facilities for passengers, it's worth noting that all passenger movements, except to and from vehicles, are on the dock side. The ferry offers accessible restrooms and a protected seating area on the car deck level at the Kingston end. It's worth noting that the automated doors may require a long press to respond. It's also worth noting that the restroom doors on this level are slow to close and they require a positive action to turn a knob to lock. There's an accessible restroom at either end of the generous seating area on the car deck level. And note the access to power and USB. At either end of the vessel on the dock side, a flight of steps takes you to a small observation and seating area. And the second one takes you up to the passenger deck. Passing benches better suited for summer travel you approach sliding doors to gain access to the main passenger lounge. The lounge is generously provisioned with a large number of chairs and tables in various configurations and there are several restrooms. <clears throat> the lounge area on the outside of the boat features a large historical map of Wolf Island. Passengers seeking a break from artificial light and protection from the elements can use an enclosed area on the outside of the boat. It may be reassuring to some to see that rescue rings, firefighting equipment and a rescue boat are present on each end of the boat and on either side. Overall, the Wolf Islander 4 is a spacious, well-appointed vessel and she will uphold the tradition of service of her predecessor admirably in a long service life ahead. Thanks for watching this video and please express your gratitude to the crews over this holiday period and in 2024.